Star Radio Sunday Jazz Brunch, time for the Share the Journey feature, brought to you by Living Resources, supporting people with unique abilities. Today, I have the opportunity to talk to Jennifer Richard, Associate Executive Director of Programs. Good morning, Jennifer. Good morning, Walt. Thanks for having me. Jen, your position, you juggle a lot of balls in the air all at the same time. Uh, like a like a director of, of a movie, you've got to be able to move in various different <laughs> directions at various times. Yeah, in my current role, you know, I'm, I'm overseeing all of our programs here at Living Resources. So our, our residential programs, our day services programs, our college programs, our art programs, um, community living, employment, you know, you name it. I get the pleasure of working with all those directors and, and staff in those programs. And I also work directly with our clinical services. So I oversee our nursing program and our clinical behavioral services as well. So I have the opportunity to have my hands in all the different areas, uh, which is exciting, um, especially, you know, as an agency where we really want to make changes and empower individuals with disabilities. So, you know, I'm, I'm excited to come to work every day and be able to do this. And Jen, with your long tenure at Living Resources, you're unique qualified to help support all these programs. Yeah, I, I'd say that's accurate. I've, I've had the liberty of, you know, starting with this agency when almost right out of college. So I've been here 21 years now. So I've worked in all areas and over the years been able to learn from, you know, great mentors and, and role models. So I, I have a lot of knowledge in the various different programs just from being here over the years and learning from everyone. Well, one of the great things of an agency, it, particularly from an employee standpoint, that is that you have an opportunity for upward mobility within the organization. It, it really is. You know, as I mentioned, I started um, right out of college and have been here for 21 years and I've worked in, in so many different roles. So, you know, coming in, starting as a service coordinator and, and over the years with experience and coaching and training, you know, I've been able to make it to where I am today, which I think made me a good candidate for this role because I've worked in day services, you know, directly with the individuals we support and in residential and employment. I've done the job that our DSPs and our direct staff do now. So, I, you know, I, I think I have a lot to offer and a lot of guidance that I can give them just because I've been there. When it comes to state oversight, uh, there are 20 years, you've obviously seen a lot of changes. Are we getting any better at supporting people with disabilities? <laughs> I think we are. I think we've got a long way to go. Um, I think as an agency, we have a great focus on empowering individuals so that they can be as independent as they can be in society, um, you know, so that individuals with disabilities or mental health concerns are treated just like anyone else and they have anyone else has. Um, we want people to live on their own if they can or with minimal support and, and have jobs and friends and and get married and do everything that everybody else can be. So I think as an agency, we've come a long way and, and we continue to push that boundary because, you know, we're very focused on independence for the individuals that we support. Can you think of any one story of an individual who's really benefited from being involved with Living Resources? There's many, many stories. Um, one that just comes to mind quickly, and this one it will be in regards to our college experience program. You know, part of the process of applying for the program is individuals go through a lengthy application process and trial, and we meet with parents and, and get all the input we need to when applicants are applying. And I remember sitting down with, with two parents when their, when their son was applying for the program, and the mom really just being in tears in the interview and, and just saying that she didn't know where else to go or what else to do and, and that her son just had so much that he was capable of doing yet he really he didn't socialize with them he didn't want to talk to them he didn't have friends and once he applied and, and was accepted into the college experience program just the, the growth and, and independence that he showed and the maturity and, and how confident he felt in himself. Today, a couple of years later, he's living on his own. He's got a girlfriend that I, I see them from time to time in town, and he's got a job working in, in auto mechanics, and he's happy. So stories like that, I think, help all of us in this field come back to work every day. Must be very rewarding to, to, to see that. It absolutely is. Again, it's why, why many of us do this job, because of those success stories, and we wanna, we wanna see more every day. Jennifer, if someone wants to get a hold of you regarding some of the services and programs uh, and connecting with Living Resources, what's the best way to do so? I can be reached at our, our main office here at 518-218-0000, extension 5537, or right on our website. We've 
we've got my information and information of other directors in various programs. 20 years in the business of helping to support people with disabilities. I bet you could write a book. I probably could. (laughs) Thank you for being a part of the program today. Thank you, Walt. Jennifer Richard, Associate Executive Director of Programs. For more information, go to livingresources.org. I'm Walt Adams. More music up next on the Sunday Jazz Brunch on Saratoga's Star Radio.